Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Demonstration on blast, cluster, and EL2CO. In this demo, we explain about three tools such as blast, cluster W, and EL2CO to obtain a similar sequences, a multiple sequence alignment, as well as the consolidation score. So, blast is used to get the similar sequences, and cluster W is used to obtain the multiple sequence alignment and AL to CO we can use to get the conservation score. So, we take any query protein for example, myoglobin, we will explain how to use blast to get the related sequences and from the out output of blast we use the cluster to get the multiple sequence alignment. The results will be used as an input to AL to CO and we obtain the conservation score. Let us see the details how to utilize these tools. In this exercise, we will use BLAST, cholesterol, and L2CO to calculate the conservation of myoglobin. Uh, we will start with by obtaining the human myoglobin primary sequence from Uniprot followed by blasting it against Uniprot to get the related proteins. Further, we will use these sequences to obtain the MSA multiple sequence alignment. From the multiple sequence alignment, we will calculate the consideration score for each residual residue position using AL to CO. Further, we will analyze this and infer from the consideration results. To start, let us proceed with the first step. Let us go to Uniprot and obtain our myoglobin sequence. Let us search for human myoglobin. You can make use of the advanced search in case if you are confused with the results. P02144 is the myoglobin sequence of human as you could see the organism and the name. Let us see the entry myoglobin from human. Myoglobin is a global protein, it is a monomer. It has an eme group similar to hemoglobin. It is helping binding to oxygen and storing oxygen in cells, especially muscle cells. It is very necessary for uh, mammals, especially deep drying ma mammals like whale. As you could see, the function and the metal binding deciduous are 65 and 94, which are histidines. We will obtain the sequence from Uniprot, format, download the fast track canonical sequence and save it as. So now that we got the sequence, let us blast it against Uniprot database. Let us go to BLAST site. Let us use protein BLAST, BLAST P. We can either enter the accessor number or the Uniprot number directly, or we can upload the file which we downloaded. If you look at the UI of the BLAST, it is very well organized. The first section contains the GORI sequence where we have multiple options to enter the GORI. The second section consists of the database, the target database against which we want to BLAST 
and third section consists of the algorithm which you want to use. Additionally, there is a fourth section, algorithm parameters, which we will discuss later. Now that I have chosen the query sequence, let me choose the target sequence. There are different target databases here, NR, Uniprod, Ref sequence, Sysprot, PDB, etc. If you are not if confused about the databases, just click, click on the help. You will get the detail, details about the database and the number of sequences which are there. I will choose Uniprod because it contains reviewed sequences and number of sequences will be very less. Further, there are options to exclude or include organisms. For example, in our case, we are taking human myoglobin. Let us exclude the human sequence. I am going to exclude the protein from humans. There are additional op uh, options to exclude and include. In case you want to filter the target database further, you can enter the query. For example, you can restrict the sequence length here. The third section contains a program which you want to select Blast P, Psi Blast, Phi Blast, or Delta Blast. We will go with Blast P. In case you need further details, you can go to the algorithm parameters to modify the search, the alignment algorithm. Max target sequence, here you can set number of sequences you want to get. Further, there is a expert threshold, which is nothing but the limitation for the E value. Every sequence that is aligned with the, your query sequence will have an E value. And this E value is the expected number of sequence which has a score greater than or uh, more equal to the score of that particular sequence. We want very good match between your sequence. You can restrict the expected threshold. For example, I am going to restrict to 10 power minus 4. And there is a scoring parameter which we learned, Blossom 62. In case you want to uh, change that based on your constraints or your, your problem statement, you can change it. And finally, if you are OK with the parameters, click on Blast. Now that we have submitted a job, the job is being processed. Note down the request ID in case you are uh, uh, going to scroll from the browser. I am waiting here for the results. The output from the blast will have following section. The first uh, initial part will cover the job detail, the request which you have performed, the query and the database, target database. Further, you could see a graphical summary uh, which is very useful in case you want to find a, a regional wise conservation among the aligned sequences. Uh, further, you could see a, a summary where all the alignments along with their score and the E values are listed. Below which you will find uh, individual alignments of each aligned sequence. In our case, we need the sequences from the aligned sequences. Before that, we will uh, look into the score. So there is a column for maximum score, which is obtained from the alignment program. And there is a query coverage. So it is a percentage of uh, length of the protein, which is aligned with the query. And the E value, which is in the order of 10 power minus 110, which is very, very low and significant. And there is an identity, sequence identity cutoff, which is we, which is listed here. And there is an accession, which we, since we have blasted against a Uniprot, the, the IDs, Uniprot IDs are listed here. As you could see, uh, uh, the identity keeps on decreasing with the E value, with the E value increasing. And uh, most of this blasted results are from myoglobin, from other organisms which differs from the human myoglobin. And if you could extend, you could also, you would also see myo hemoglobin, which is very similar to myoglobin. Now, we will download the aligned sequences. You can download all the aligned sequences. 
by checking all and download to faster sequence and continue. So, this aligned sequences are downloaded in a faster format. We will use this for uh, alignment using cluster. Let us go to cluster W website which is hosted in genome.jp. Cluster W was originally implemented in EBA site. Cluster W, this website also has parameters which are similar to the uh, which we found in BLAST for alignment. I am going to choose the accurate method and choose the file. and submit the job. The results are here. You could see that uh, the first part of the results contain the list of sequences and corresponding IDs from the FASTA header and the length. Following that there is a alignment which is listed here. For example, se sequence, one to it, sequence 1 is aligned with sequence 2 and the corresponding score and so on. If you scroll further, you will see the alignment results. You can directly go to the results by clicking here and here the alignment results in cluster format which is the displayed here, the ID is on the left side and space further as a sequence. You can save this alignment file. Now we have got the, the alignment, multiple sequence alignment. We will use AL2CO, AL2CO to obtain the consideration score. This is a web server uh, AL2CO. AL2CO is uh, used to calculate the sequence consideration score. Uh, it provides a uh, lot of flex flexibility. Uh, we can use choose uh, different weighting scheme and uh, entropy uh, consideration methods which we learned in the class. And we can also choose blossom matrix or different matrix and different normalization ways. Uh, to begin with, let us give the data input which is the uh, align cluster for clusters alignment the email id and job names are optional for example we can give something which is meaningful i am going to do a unweighted uh, consideration score calculation using entropy based method normalization will in case you are not clear on what is normalization, you can go click on it, we will get the help menu. Normalization will uh, subtract the mean and divide by the standard deviation which is given here. In case you have forgotten what is uh, each method, the entropy method, you can learn the formulas here. Let us submit the job. The results are listed here. There are two results here. Uh, Let us say, let us see one by one. The first one, uh, as it said, uh, mentioned here, list the uh, position wise consideration scores. For example, as you could say, residue one, 
as so, so much score. Uh, what are the scores? These are the entropy based scores which we uh, calculated. So, each residue position has a particular score. Uh, we will interpret this later, but we will let us look into the what is the second output. So, the second output contains the alignment itself along with the configuration score. The score here it is not the what we computed, it is a integer from 0 to 9. So, 9 is very well uh, conserved region, whereas 0 rem, uh, represent the variable region. Uh, so, this is can be directly interpreted uh, unlike the score values which you obtain in the first output. For example, let us compare the uh, uniprot information with the corresponding consideration value we got here. It says 65 and 94 are uh, metal binding region which is histidine. So, it should be conserved across all the myoglobin proteins across species. So, let us see 65. So, this is a region residue 65. Uh, if you could see that this position is conserved and as a consideration value of 9 as we could uh, interpret. Thanks.